welcome. <laughs> um, not this big crowd, but yeah, it's okay for me. Um, oh, start the recording. I'm David. I'm uh, from Germany um, and uh, working as a freelance web developer. And um, I'm board member of the Gent Beyond TV, which is the organization which hosts this. Uh, a tiny, small conference, and uh, also host the, the German Joomla Day and all kinds of German Joomla stuff. We also have another German Joomla association, but those are kind of weird people, and so we're the right one. And um, yeah, and I'm addicted to Joomla. I'm a Joomla-holic. Um, I'm talking about the CBIT, um, which is a trade fair which takes place in Germany, and it's the large, world largest IT trade fair um, five days, I think last time they had 290,000 visitors, um, 4,000 companies which uh, had a booth and there were, I think, around about 5,000 people from the press uh, which were there. We had the, the German Chancellor um, and all kinds of people running around there. And um, it's nice there, but there's one problem during the last years, there was no Joomla. We had one booth in 2010, which was hosted by the German community. And um, then they basically screwed up all their financing stuff and the booth was gone again. And um, yeah, that's something that I would like to change. Um, I talked to some guys from WordPress, Drupal, Typo3 and some other systems um, at a conference last year and um, we noticed that when people are talking about the uh, systems, they always, yeah, getting some kind of fighting, arguing about what is the better system, um, what has the, the most extensions, the most users, and um, which one is the, the one, the, the strongest, that one that will be alive in the future. And um, we think that we aren't competitors in the open source community. That's something that, that uh, came into our mind while we were talking, because every system has its own target group. I think most of the time, I, people who are lucky with a system like Typo3, which is this kind of CMS, um, most of the times they, they, they won't be lucky with Joomla. And the same is uh, with WordPress. I don't build a large company site with WordPress. At least I do, because that's not what the system is built for. And uh, so every system has its own corner. And um, the real competitors, from in our opinion, are commercial CMS. And that's the place where those CMS um, have their booth, on the CBIT, on those large um, trade fairs. And that's also the places where um, people who pay for their system um, are looking for a new system. That's where the money is, so to say. And um, all kinds of open source CMS were basically missing over the years. And um, so the, the central idea was um, let's make a common booth for all systems um, and make a professional one, look professional to the, to the outside, to the press, um, to decision makers, to other communities, and um, so that people get into their mind that open source CMS um, are a are professional software and that they can use in, in any kind of environment. Um, that was the, the, the first purpose, and the second one, of course, drink beer, get to know the other people from the other systems, and also get to know the other systems. Um, we had lots and lots of people there and I think during this week I've learned so much about the other systems, learned what was what is good about them, what Joomla does good, what Joomla does bad and these kind of things. Um, and while we were thinking about this kind of idea, we realized that we need a partner to realize it. And uh, Luckily, we found one, which is the open source part. Um, at the CBIT, there's a large area within the exhibition um, where only open source projects are hosted. Um, it's not free. Later on, you'll see it. Um, but they were really kind to us. Um, 
A common roof for all system, whose all would be the logical next question. Um, we have 15 systems in total. There are some really well known. Um, Drupal, of course, Joomla, Typo3, um, Mod X is one um, which could be known. Django is, I think, Python based. Plone is also Python based, or Perl, I don't know. WordPress. Um, Papaya is a pretty small German based system. OpenCMS is Java based and has the coolest front end editing I've ever seen. Contao is also mostly German. They have an association in Switzerland. Um, Redaxo, I think, is also mostly German. And uh, Scientific CMS is a system especially built for universities. And um, we invited those systems to send ambassadors. Um, so people who are at the booth, answer questions, um, help building the stuff, help organizing. And uh, in total, we had 105 people. Um, I think from Joomla, we were eight or something. Drupal had 10, and the other systems then a bit less. <laughs> the really funny one was the WordPress guy, which was only one, five days. Biggest community worldwide, but one guy at the fair. I don't know. <laughs> um, the second thing that we realized is that we need money, a lot of money. Um, we made a little calculation and came up with 100,000 euros that we had to earn. Um, the major um, cost is uh, for the booth, which costed, I think, about 40,000 euros. It was a 100 square meter booth, which is yeah, not this large, and it was yeah, equipped rather uh, easy, so to say. Um, but these, that's the price you have to pay on, on these kind of fairs. Um, Printing was a big one, costed uh, I think 6,000 euros. Clothing was 500. Accommodation was uh, seven or 8,000, I'm not really sure. Techniques, uh, I think 500 or something, that was not so expensive. Food was 3,000 and transportation and those smaller things. Um, that was the, the money we started with. And um, how to get it, this was the, the main question. Um, the easy, the, the, the easy thing, oh, oh, we, we, we thought about how to get it, and the, the thing that first came into our mind was, okay, let's do some, some, some sponsorship, let's put some logos on the booth, I don't know, CMS Garden sponsored by Microsoft or something. And um, we had people asking for these kind of things, who were willing to sponsor. Um, but we decided not to do it this way, to um, put the, the, the sponsors in such a prominent place because we wanted that the, the CMS systems are in the, in, the, in the first place, that they are in focus. And um, so we decided to um, build something that we called the Gardener's Guide. It's a printed book. I think Stefan has some. I'll have to ask him later because there was some, some spare. And um, it's a small book which is, um, I think, 90 sites or something. Half of the book is um, actual content, articles about the CMS system, statistics, um, these kind of things. And the rest um, are ads. And there's a, a directory of companies who are doing services around the CMSs. And um, you could buy an ad, or you could buy these kind of uh, directory listings. And it actually worked. Um, because we gained 47,000 euros. Um, that's of course not the 100,000 that we planned, but it's okay because we, we um, were able to, um, to reduce the costs a bit so that we had 27,000 euros at, as expenses. And so it worked out. Um, I couldn't believe that it really worked. Um, because my, my experience with the conferences was um, that it's in these times really hard to find sponsors. And it was at the CMS Garden, um, basically the same. Um, but all communities work together to find the sponsors, and then it, it worked pretty good. Um, OSM, Open Source Matters, donated, I think, 
10,000. That really helped. Um, the type of reorganization um, donated five. Drupal or Acquia, I don't know, um, donated, I think, seven and a half. And we had some organizations, and the rest was uh, commercial sponsors. <sighs> okay, what we had there. Um, we thought about accommodation because, you know, 100 people. Um, the hotel rooms in Hanover during the fair should cost, um, I think, they started about 150 euro per night for the cheapest ones. So um, that wasn't really a discussion. Um, so we found one which was in Hildesheim, which is near Hanover. I think it's a 30 kilometer drive and there's also a train connection. So that one was okay. And um, Oops. Oh, no. the, um, the interior is uh, rather simple, <laughs> but it's okay. We, we were only there for sleeping, and um, it costed us 32 euro per night. And um, the real cool thing is that uh, we had an own kitchen there, and we had one guy with us um, who stayed at the... Um, in Hildesheim and cook for us every evening. And uh, this was really great. Basically, you know, 100 uh, people, uh, 3,000 euros during the whole week for food. So it was really, really good. And uh, during the day, we had free, dr uh, free drinks at the booth and uh, a few snacks. And um, that wasn't this expensive. So the, the, the thought was that uh, the ambassadors only had to pay the traveling expenses and nothing else. And that worked out. Um, of course, we <laughs> needed some kind of IT stuff because, you know, CMS system. Yeah. Um, we decided to rent um, PC terminals. I think we had 12 or something. And on each terminal, we had a uh, virtual box installed. And on each terminal, we had an identical uh, virtual machine, um, which was set up uh, before the CBIT, and where all 12 or 15 systems were installed. So you basically um, just went to the terminal, opened up the browser, and, and uh, for us it was uh, joomla.cmsgarden.org, and the site popped up. And um, the same then for the other systems, type of, type of free dot CMS garden and so on. And um, that worked really well uh, because we had some, some troubles with the internet connection, which was pretty much screwed all the time, um, which isn't so nice if you think that uh, we paid for one week. Um, I think a 10 megabit connection uh, costed 1,200 euros or something. It's a hell lot of money for a bit internet connection, but yeah, okay, it worked. And um, we decided to upload the virtual machine after the event so that people who were interested um, in one of the systems simply could download it and um, play around with the different systems and have the same sample data installed as on the booth and these kind of things. I think it's, I don't know, seven gigabytes or something, so it's pretty okay. Um, and one last thing we thought about was that we need some kind of program on the booth to attract people. And um, we decided to um, make four different slots each day where the systems can present a specific feature. We had the, the first day was, a, I don't know, I think a day of the easy administration. So you should uh, present how, it e how easy it is to, to add a content. We had an accessibility day. We had a templating day. We had a install your extension day and these kind of things. And um, the minute when we started to talk uh, with the uh, PA system, so that we were pretty loud, um, people stopped and watched us. I really don't know whether they were actually interested in the systems before, but they stopped, watched, and most of them then came to the booth and, and t took a closer look. So that was a, was a good idea. So results of our project. We had the booth. It was really a nice one. And um, 15 CMS attended, five days, 100 square meters, and 
we did a, a, a count and um, also had some, some feedback papers. Um, in total, about 10,000 visitors during the fair. And um, I think we were the, mo the most crowded booth in the whole open source area. And we also had the, on, the, on the other side um, of the hallway, there was the booth of the um, CBIT partner country this year, which was Poland. And they had a huge booth, basically half of the hall, and nobody was there. Pretty much looked like here right now. And um, because people went through the hallway, so, oh, there's Joomla, got over there, and basically ignored the Poland guys, which I'm really sorry, but, yeah, you know. And um, so at some point of time, people from the Poland stand, the officials came over to us and asked um, whether we, are, I don't know, give something away for free or something, um, because nobody was interested in their stuff. So that was a success. We grew together as a community. That was something that um, is for me even a, a bigger result. Um, because at the starting point, you could feel that each and every system basically um, tried to get the best for himself out of the, the whole event. And during the days, people started to understand the, the idea behind it that the, the, the competitors are other systems and not we are as an open source community. And um, people started to look at other systems. Those are the guys from Papaya who are showing something, to the guys from Drupal. And we basically had these kind of images with, with all systems. Um, for example, I, or as I already mentioned, I took a look at OpenCMS, which has the most amazing front end editing which I've ever seen. Um, I took a look at uh, Drupal, which is also very nice. I had some dis discussions with the WordPress guy. Um, we had some um, a, a game, basically, in the evening with a beer. Um, he told me the most hardest thing to figure out in WordPress, and I should do the same uh, in Joomla for him. And then uh, we tried to figure out how it works in the system of the other one. And um, yeah, he, he really had to think about it, but wasn't able to find something that is really hard in WordPress, which is like WordPress is, it's easy. And uh, I told him to uh, enable multi-language sites in Joomla. And I think he, he needed, I don't know, one and a half hour and still hadn't figured it out because of the dummy menu and these kind of things. Um, yeah, okay, totally other thing. And, um, I think this that was also good for the people at the booth to see um, that it doesn't make sense to tell clients use this system for everything. They understood that there are systems that can do specific things better than my own system. We had the press at the booth several times. And um, for example, there's a, a large German uh, technology press, which is called uh, Heise. I know, it's probably nobody knows it, but um, it's, it's the press in Germany. And um, I wrote them several emails on stuff like this to about Joomla, new versions, and these kind of things, and they always ignored me until that very day, because um, they went through the hall, saw our booth, came over to us and um, asked whether there's a possibility to, to publish some news or something. So I got the business card of the, of the uh, press people now and can publish news on this site. That's cool. And um, as we have so many cool results, we decided to do this again. Um, we already done the CMS garden at the Linux tag in uh, Chemnitz, which is in the eastern Germany, and Berlin, which is in the northeast. Um, we will be at uh, the DMS Expo, which is in southern Germany, and we will also be at uh, next year's CBIT. And I think there's a open source exhibition in Brussels, at least I think so. Somebody told me about that. Okay, we'll also attend that one with the garden. And there's 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, Force Dam. And there's another one in uh, the States. I don't remember the name. Um, but the guy from Typo Dry, uh, Type of Freeze, um, currently figuring out that we also attempt this one. And um, yeah, it's going on. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, any questions? Okay, tell the other guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how did, how did uh, you people meet and the community meet and people uh, Zoom and everybody get together for this? Um, we had a Skype chat. Um, the okay. The 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 very first meeting was at uh, at Foscon, an open source um, fair, where we had a, a small Joomla booth from the uh, user group in Cologne. There was a small Drupal booth from the Drupal user group in Cologne, and I think three other systems. And we basically put together our heads and figured the idea out. And uh, the day after, we fired up the Skype chat, and then um, yeah, the the movement started by itself, so to say. And uh, yeah, um, especially um, larger and middle sized companies and um, surprisingly uh, governmental organizations. Um, most of the times it were the, 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 the marketing guy from the governmental organization together with the IT guy. And um, yeah, I, d I really don't know. I think it's something very special for the, at least for the German market in the, in the German governmental organization, you basically don't have any open source systems at all. And now they slowly start um, to understand that there are also open source systems and that they can be used. Um, the Drupal guys are very much into this kind of thing. And one other thing, which I forgot to mention in the results, um, because I'm not sure whether it has really worked, but I tell you. Um, there's a, an organization in Germany called Ecoverband, which is the uh, association of all kind of internet-related uh, companies. The, the large ISPs are in there, um, uh, large web portals and these kind of things, uh, presses. and. Um, Normally, it's pretty expensive to be part of that organization. The rates start, I don't know, 5,000 euros a year or something. And they invited the CMS Garden for free to be part of this. And um, that's really interesting for us um, because the, uh, the organization is very much into the, the German governmental organization things. Um, and we're going to try. Um, to use this connection to make um, governmental organizations more aware that there are open source CMS and maybe even try to, um, to, um, uh, um, to make open source CMS as a, a must have when they renew their websites. But that's a very long term target. But, uh, well, let's see. Yeah. So this was good. <laughs> um, I'm really not sure whether they uploaded it. Um, I'll ask Stefan if he brought some with him because uh, he had some. And if not, um, I'll send a tweet with the PDF. I think I've got it somewhere. Okay, yeah. any more questions? Okay, thank you. Very much. Thank you.